Hello everyone, welcome to Lake Simcoe. Uh, today's Thanksgiving Day here in Canada. It's also coincidentally my birthday and it's been exactly two weeks since um, I had an encounter with a skunk that's uh, garnered some 31 plus million views on Facebook and YouTube and I just wanted to have a moment to uh, talk to you all about it. So I'm going to hand it over to my five-year-old cameraman here. My cameraman's got playing with Skunky there. Show everyone Skunky. My cameraman's going to hold the, uh, the camera for a minute and I'm going to say a couple words. Hey everyone. Um, so it's been a, an interesting couple of weeks. I obviously, uh, this has completely taken me by surprise. I, I, I haven't, um, wasn't expecting to meet so many of you in the last uh, last few weeks. First things first, I, I wanted to show you this can. This is um, this is the can that actually got st stuck on the skunk's head. I saved it for uh, for posterity. And the top's been cut off. I think it's been used in a barbecue. And you can see uh, you can actually see the barb the barbs on the edge that were probably uh, holding it on the skunk's head. There's even still some fur there. If there's anything we take out of this at all, it'd be nice to know. I mean, I would I would have done this. I wouldn't have known this this could be a death trap for an animal. Um, so I, I don't really uh, hold anything against the person who did this. But but now that I now that I've been through what I've been through, um, uh, I'm aware that this this is actually something very dangerous to an animal. So I, we we shouldn't put this in our recycling. And if possible, maybe we'll even cover our recycling bins or um, or crush cans like this or make sure that jars have lids on them. And certainly clean any any food debris out of them. This was full of some sort of grease that attracted the skunk into it. So, um, if nothing comes of this whole ordeal, it'd be really nice if we had a, a certain awareness of of how this can be uh, uh, harmful to an animal. Um, hey, Cecil. Hey, how you doing, Mike? <laughs> Good. How you doing, Logan? <laughs> so I brought a couple of things for you to have a look at. Uh, things that I've gotten in the mail from the last couple of weeks. PETA uh, were true to their word. They sent me an award in the mail. Um, there it is there. Um, I'll, uh, I'll definitely find a nice uh, place for that in my home. That was very kind. Uh, they also sent me some delicious vegan cookies that my kids very quickly ate. And uh, uh, also a nice silk tie and a, and a letter from their president, which I, I thought was very, uh, very nice. I also got a um, this I thought was really cute. This this came from a kindergarten class here in Canada. It's a it's a letter. It says, "Dear Mike, we are happy you saved the skunk's life. We are glad you didn't get sprayed. You saved the day." And then it's uh, signed by my friends in uh, this uh, kindergarten class. So that's very touching. It's been a such a funny week for that. So I've been getting some thought to what to do with this um, this interesting and very diverse group of people that are now my friends and followers on Facebook and YouTube. Um, there's probably 20,000 people that all wanted to get to know me because of a, an encounter I had with the skunk. And, and half of these friends are, are better advocates for animals than I'll ever be. They've got a lot of people that are uh, running rescues for wild animals and, and, and dog rescues and, and that type of thing. So I, I don't think I'm going to be bringing any value to, um, to any of you from that. But, but I am giving some, some serious thought to um, a way to bring some sort of meaning or, or something of interest to, uh, to this event. Shortly after all this happened, I started getting Facebook friend requests um, by, the, by the hundreds. And uh, normally I would reject uh, any request from somebody I didn't know. Um, but there seemed to be so much goodwill, I, I just started saying yes. And then they kept coming in and, and then uh, now I think I'm, I'm, I'm maxed out. I, I can't accept any more Facebook friends. Uh, it's been neat. I've met some really cool people. I was speaking to a guy in Colombia the other day. That was really interesting. Some people in Vietnam, all over the world. It's been, that part's neat. Met a few weirdos, a few, few creepy people. Um, that's not so great. Um, I'm not so sure I'm great with having all these Facebook friends. I think maybe that was a mistake. So I, I might start um, paring down some of those and I, and I don't want anybody to take that in a, in a bad way. It's just uh, I, um, I, I don't want to get rid of the goodwill. At the very least I'd ask that you follow me on, um, uh, on Facebook and, and I've also created a new Facebook page. 
uh, Mike McMillan Skunk Whisperer. So if you click on that, I promise I will put some content on there regularly and uh, whatever this becomes, you'll be able to find it on there uh, and you won't need to uh, be on my personal profile. Um, other than that, I've got a, a couple of ideas of where this is going to go in the future and I, I'm excited about it. And it's, it's not a, uh, it's a humble idea, but I think it's a, it's a neat one. So uh, keep your eye out in the next couple of weeks for something with, uh, for a video from me and I'll let you know a little bit more. Uh, until then, uh, goodbye from Upter Grove, Ontario and have yourself a great Canadian uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Bye bye.